Une, tragé une tragédie, c'est un accident, c'est quelque chose qu'on ne pouvait pas prévoir. Dans le cas d'Ashley Smith et de trop nombreuses femmes qui sont atteintes de maladies mentales, on pouvait voir ça venir. Ça fait une semaine que le NPD de pose des questions sur le sujet, à savoir si les conservateurs vont mettre en œuvre les recommandations de l'enquêteur correctionnel du Canada. L'enquêteur demande depuis longtemps la mise en place de programmes de traitement des détenus ayant des antécédents d'automutilation. Alors, Monsieur le Président, est-ce que les conservateurs vont suivre les conseils de l'enquêteur correctionnel du Canada? Oui ou non? However, I would note that the NDP, while consistently speaking on behalf of prisoners, never speaks out on behalf of the victims of these prisoners, never talks about the damage done to people outside of prisons. I wish they would take a more balanced view about what it means to have a safe society, not simply the individuals in the prisons, but those who are abused outside of the prisons. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Is that minister capable of understanding that she was the victim here? Yeah. The Honourable Minister of Public Safety. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. I have made it very clear where our government stands on that, and I'm very proud of the position that the Prime Minister took in terms of ensuring that our officials in Correctional Services Canada cooperate completely with the coroner. But I would like to ask that member, who has never once stood up and spoken for victims, why is it that he is always silent when it comes to victims outside of our prisons? <laughs> 